Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts. This will be the fourth video we're shooting today. We realized that uh, as we're shooting these videos, we didn't really address the aerosol version of the One Hit Wonder. So uh, um, Jason's going to demonstrate that real quick. This will be a short video. We're sorry, but uh, we just got caught up in, uh, in all the moment and trying to, to shoot all these videos. But again, for the haters, and Jason's going to demonstrate the black. Uh, on, a, on this is direct to ABS, no scuffing. Uh, we just wiped it down with denatured alcohol, and we're hitting it with this. And we've we've had good results uh, so far. So he's going to demonstrate the whole. Go for it. Uh, first of all, a lot of guys ask me, um, you know, is it? They ask me, is it just regular aerosol paint? And the answer is no. We package these. Um, uh, blanks, we order blanks and then package them with our own paint ourselves at our shop with the machine. So what you're getting in these is identical to what comes in the quart in half pint cans. Um, a lot of people also ask, you know, what's the spray pattern like? Uh, a lot of uh, aerosol paints come out with a cone shape, um, which means you end up getting a dot when you spray directly. Uh, we managed to find a supplier who um, has a fan pattern. So this actually sprays like a small mini gun. Um, which is very nice. I'll show you guys what the pattern looks like quickly. But you can see it's a very, very nice, just a nice. small version of a spray gun. Uh, what I'm going to do now, um, retesting direct to ABS simply because we're trying to take out as many steps as possible. Uh, we've done um, at our shop uh, a lot of testing with ABS and uh, hatch testing. It, it's, it, it, it holds and chemically binds to the plastic so well that we actually don't need to scuff. Now, that's true for ABS. We're still trying with polypropylene and other types of plastics, TKOs and stuff. Um, but for the ABS, we've found that uh, you can actually paint directly to ABS with our paint. Um, I'm just going to spray. Due to the propellant, you might need two coats instead of one, but we're going to paint it and just see how we get on. So what, again, it's, it's about light coats. We're not trying to load the color up too heavy, but it's on and off, on and off, just like you would with a spray gun. So I'm gonna just go up and down one last time as it comes around, because it's already flashing. Um, it looks like we're gonna need one last coat, but you can see um, this, this flashes really, really quickly. Um, maybe what we'll do in uh, five to 10 minutes, we're gonna come back and just Give it one last coat, and then you can see the depth of the color, and uh, we'll go from there. And that's over white, so that's about the most opposite color you're going to get when you're running. Yeah, I mean, uh, and it's a it's a bright white too. I mean, it's it's it, it does show through the paint. But um, like I say, day by day we're developing the paint. Um, two coats on top of ABS Direct just to decrease, and I think uh, I think you'll be ready to dip. All right, now I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, uh, we talk about reducing. Uh, in our first video, um, what happens when people are, are using the aerosol version? Will they have to maybe warm up the can to room temperature? Or I, I think you always want to spray at least have it 50 degrees. Um, paint starts to become very heavy and um, unhappy below 50 degrees. Yes, give it a really good shake. It's very, very important to get the yes. material shaken up. Yep. Um, the propellant inside is actually the reducer. So when we fill the cans at the shop, um, we put virtually unreduced paint in here so that you get a good, heavy, dense um, coverage. Uh, ideal painting temperature is always 70 to 90 degrees. That's where you want to be. Your part wants to be there. Your room temperature wants to be there. Your paint wants to be there. We know guys paint in the garage. Say we, we know guys paint down south, and sometimes it's cold, and they don't have insulation in the heaters in the building. Ideal temperature, 70 to 90. If you can, little radiator in your spray booth, keep this thing on the radiator for about two or three minutes. Give it a good shake. Get the, get the, get the paint up to temperature, and you'll find that it starts to flash properly. It'll, it'll settle properly on the part, it'll dry smooth, and um, unlike most rattle cam paints, this paint has no air hardening agent in it, um, so it will stay open for 18 months just like our regular paint. It won't go hard. Most, most aerosol paints that don't require clear coat 
have an air hardening agent in it, like an acrylic, and it will harden by itself. Yeah. This is not the case. But I think actually while we've been talking, yeah, I, I, I think you know it was we, we can up. see it's it's pretty much flat. So we'll we'll give it one last, and you'll see the difference when it comes on. You can see that's two coats. And it's on and off, on and off, nice and even, just like you were using a spray gun. Due yeah, to the, due to the nature... You're not, you're not doing this, you're coming in. Yeah, we, 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 you really want to just follow the part. You don't want your wrist to be doing that because you're just going to build up pain here and it's going to get light here and here. Sometimes we've got to turn the can just to get into that crevice. One across the top. And you can see we're, we're pretty much two coats with an aerosol. Just so you know, an aerosol can, a lot of people ask me what the coverage of an aerosol can is. We'll just do it quickly and you can get an idea. This can is almost finished. Jim's been using it heavily. I try. And we got, <laughs> we've got we, we, we started this, this discussion with about a quarter of an aerosol can. And you can see, we can give one light coat over arguably three or four square feet. Oh yeah. So we've still got about this much paint. We started with about that much. So we, we you can you can get pretty good coverage. Probably do about five to ten gun stocks with one can. Stuff like that just to put in context. Speed shapes, you probably do 10, 15 speed shapes with one can. So you know it's it, it's it's a competitive paint, but the coverage and the adhesion I think are superior to certainly any other aerosol on the market. So, the, you know, again, the advantages to the end user are the fact that you don't have to set up a gun, you don't have to uh, set up your compressor, you worry about air lines, moisture, all the other stuff that comes with, um, you know, having that kind of a setup. Um, I think uh, another, another good thing is a lot of guys get small orders, and some people want, like, a really bright green, but they only want two small parts done. You're not buying a quart of our really bright green, you're buying a $15 aerosol and our $12 for 12 aerosols, you can have, you know, 12 different colors for 12, you know, $144 plus shipping. That's a great bargain. Yeah. Well, and we're going to talk more about that because we haven't even shown all the bright colors that you've come out with that we shot earlier. We today. do have four new um, metallic, bright metallics to show you guys um, in the next video and uh, our friend Brent from Kansas Hydrographics is going to be doing some dipping for us. They're speed shapes, so they're tricky. But yes. I think I'm going to have to we're back tape them. We're going to walk through them. We're yeah. going to walk we're going to through see. it. Uh, K2 and I are going to be laying down the film yeah. for We'll be the lifeguards. Yeah, we're going to, okay. we're going to, we're going to, we're going to just, you know, we'll, we'll be your go-tos. So, again, uh, you know, uh, relatively inexpensive compared to uh, buying a quart or a gallon of the product. Uh, which obviously has a market, um, you know, quick, easy, no cleanup, uh, indefinite, uh, well, 18 month dipping window. So, you know, and you can dip dipping the, and, and all of our paint, you can dip within 20 to 30 minutes or as soon as it's flashed. Yeah. So, uh, and all the other advantages, you know, no primer, uh, excellent adhesion, um, and the color spectrum, we're going to demonstrate that. I think you guys are going to be really happy about uh, some of the colors that are that we're going to demonstrate. And then uh, lastly, uh, Brent wanted me to mention this, but uh, I'll put you on the spot again. We're talking about maybe going with uh, some kind of small professional kit using your products. Um, I'm not asking you for commitment. I'm just generating some interest out there. If you guys think that that is something that would appeal to you, uh, again, it's a it's a more professional grade uh, uh, product than what's out there not right now. Not I'm not down talking or, or bad mouthing anybody else's product at this time, but I think that uh, between all of us and our input, uh, we've arrived at at something that's a pretty neat idea. It would be more of a a pro kit, if you will, uh, rather than a, a home kit, a starter kit. This will be something that, uh, um, again, you can buy, use right out of the box, and you would have uh, support of, uh, of the forum and a couple of senior members here that, that can give you input right away if you're getting lost a little bit on the, uh, uh, with what you're doing. So uh, 
I don't know. Do you, you think that's something that we I think it's a on? great idea. I think um, I think more importantly, um, what our aim is is, is if the, these kits go ahead and, and start getting to be formed, is that they will be tested and tested and tested again by professionals before they go to market. Um, you know, uh, we, we know there are guys out there with some exciting films we want to use. Uh, we are experiencing and experimenting with activators in aerosol form. Um, but I think what, what you know, uh, Jim's saying, I think what, what, what we can really bring to the table is, is a constant test field. Um, it's something that we can stand behind, something that, again, as Jim mentioned, we can offer support for. Um, but again, when you when you purchase our product, you know uh, that if applied as we say, the, the, you will get consistently good results. Right. And I know I threw a curve at you, so I, so I thought I'd bring it up because we have been talking about stuff the last couple of days. It's been great. We got Brent here from Kansas Hydro. We got JJ here from One Hit Wonder. Um, me with uh, the forums, k2forums.com. A um, lot of support, a lot of input. There's been some really neat synergy and some ideas that were thrown out that I really think that uh, uh, between all of us and the forum that uh, we're part of, again, k2forums.com, you guys are going to see some really neat ideas and some forward thinking that uh, uh, just hasn't been embraced in, in, you know, in this industry. So looking forward to that. Anyhow, uh, we're going to shoot maybe a couple more videos. We're going to get Brent behind the camera or in front of the camera. Uh, and uh, uh, we're going to dip some films and we're going to show you guys uh, some of the really, these colors are really cool, this guy's come up with. And uh, we're going to play a little bit with activators, we're going to show you some different results, what we're doing, and you'll see it in real time, we're not going to edit anything. And then lastly, we're going to do the giveaway, so stay tuned, I know this is the fifth or sixth video that we shot today, <laughs> I had a lot of corona, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think I still handle a gun or a camera. So uh, anyhow, that's it for this one, and uh, look forward to uh, talking to you soon. I hope you have a good day dipping. Talk to you later.